We're gonna climb a route in this excruciating heat. Let's find out how warm it actually is. It's probably not that warm. It's warm for Norwegian though. 21 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so, the route we were going to try was this one here. It was first climbed in the 90s. Back then, all the pitches were freed, apart from the steep, overhanging crack section in the middle, which was eight climbed. A few weeks ago, Yanego made the first free ascent, and now we're here to try and repeat it. It's five pitches! <laughs> it's a multi pitch. Do you know the name of it? It's called Harpoon Rissa. Do you know what a harpoon is? Harpoon, like a. Yeah, yeah, the thing underneath. The, the main goal here is to get to the roof, because that's a crack. And that's what we're here for. Here for cracks. We're here for the crack. It looks like tonsai here. Yeah. Or um, probably not like the vegetation, but just without a shirt on. Hmm. The rainforest. Yeah. You're going to do the crooks pitch. What are your predictions? It's either crack or nothing. Because you're a purist. No, but if it's steep, it's a lot easier in the crack. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm hoping that maybe I can just stuff some limbs in there instead of doing Real moves. Real moves on the outside. This one also looks like it's got a like a pleasure box on it. Hmm. But maybe not one that you can get inside. So maybe it's a semi-pleasure box. Maybe it's a leisure box. Leisure box. The leisure box. Every single person messaging me saying, I'm going to Norway. I'm going to Lofoten. Or Lofoten, like you say. Well, yeah, I'm going to Norway. I'm going to Lofoten. There are other places to go. You can go here. And it's just like a tiny bit more loose, maybe? Hello! We've also just crossed, apparently, the biggest boulder field or scree slope in northern Europe. But it didn't seem very big to me. We need to look that one up. I'm not sure if it's a Mari fact or if it's a real life fact. So yeah, hands to leisure box to then more easy climbing at the top. So basically it's all going to boil down to this middle pitch. Give me three tips for a quality belay. Uh, shade, if it's warm. Sun, if it's cold. Oh, overhöjde. You can never get enough height. You want a high belay, so you can stand underneath it and pull the rope, so you don't have to stand with like a hunchback. You're just like, eh, 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 eh. Number three, obviously you want somewhere flat. Even if it's flat enough to stand, I end up just hanging like this. Mm. Just because I want to rest my legs. Okay, next pitch. How's the helmet backpack head today? Like <laughs> 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 little ventilation holes, you're looking through those. <laughs> Something and you decide, oh, that's a bit loose, but then you can't find anything else, and then you pull on it anyway. And then I'm just pulling. <laughs> What's your best advice for warm days on multi-pitch? Make sure to wrap up warm, exactly like I am, <laughs> in all the warmest clothes that you have. So you dehydrate really quickly and sweat everything out. I'm ready to go. Off with climbing, bouldering, whatever it is, it's just this orange top. <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> It looks a lot bigger from the ground. It's huge! <laughs> it's freaking massive! It still looks quite tricky. I know what he means now. Yonagil said you don't really need the five. And that's because it's just like... Fist, 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 thin. And then boom, six. But my plan is actually to put the gloves on for uh, leisure. With leisure gloves. And then I'm gonna do this. Would you rather... Lead or second with a backpack? 
so leading you have the sort of you have to go first you have to on-site it a bit of apprehension you don't know what's coming up seconding is a bit easier the pressure's kind of gone but you've got a bloody backpack on your back on a really uh, steep overhang um, like what are the positives by leading with a backpack is no you don't lead with a backpack you just lead it nobody's leading with a backpack i i do sometimes <laughs> why what was the question again lead with a backpack or second with a backpack no just lead, <laughs> lead in general, or second with a backpack. Always lead. What if it was a really, really run out, scary pitch? Well then I probably would second it. And everything feels harder as well when you're seconding, I think. It's like my brother says, uh, because always when I used to follow him when I was younger, uh, he, I would get to the B lane, I would just be like, ah, I would never be able to climb that. <laughs> and then he would say that you just get like, and the zen, the lead zen. <laughs> and I know what he means now. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching it. Come on. Come on. My main concerns here, getting the backpack through the leisure box. I'm not sure it'll be so leisurely. I don't think the leisure box is that leisurely with the backpack on. Nice! Well done. You well done. Good pitch debrief. I know I thought it was a great pitch. Jelly, you know, you're just like, oh. I wanted to cry, cry a bit. Did you? Because it felt like, oh, why? <laughs> why is it so hard? <laughs> so it was a bit minging in there, and I was just like trying to get the chicken wing, and I was just like, ah, 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 and clipping gear, and just like, ah, 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 ah. And I felt like I was just clipping more and more gear without getting anywhere just because I wanted that rest but it was wet so I never got my rest so I just had to climb you did two pitches did I? yeah cool so congratulations <laughs> top top topped it out smashed it there's two pieces of advice which you should give when you get to the top of any route like this don't put your finger through the boot loops because if you're on one foot and you have your fingers through the boot loops and then you lose balance and then you topple over with your fingers through the boot loops and then there's no chance of stopping yourself falling off the edge. Mm. It's happened to me before, but mm. just not on a massive cliff. I fell off a boulder. That's not ideal. No. Make sure you pay attention on the descent. The descent is just as tricky as the ascent. Not quite as tricky, but you have to pay attention. Sometimes it is. Imagine if the rope fell down. Mm, we got stuck here. Yeah. That um, wouldn't be good. You have to get your nails clean. Call the chopper. Get to the chopper! <laughs>